Hello everyone, welcome to another collage episode of Art Whisper 88. Now this is a 22 by 30 piece of Stonehenge paper and I have put my bib on top of it. Now the bib is a dual purpose device. It protects the edges from spills or drips or fingerprints when I'm doing collage or printing. And it also defines the dimensions of the gel plate. Now the gel plate that I'm using today is the largest one. It's 16 inch by 20 inch. It's not easy to find, I have to be honest, because it's a very large plate and it's fairly expensive. The last time I priced it, it was about $120. So it's, it's a serious investment if you are serious about printmaking. So anyway, let me go ahead. I will compose some collage on this paper and then print over it. So technically, it's called sheen collet. It's a traditional printmaking technique. Usually it's done with a printing press where a very thin tissue paper is applied, something like this. And then a printed image is superimposed over it. So anyway, let me get started. I have here my tissue paper scraps. Now this is black tissue paper and I have used uh, some liquid or some fluid paint on top of it. It's, uh, let me see. It's this, it's golden high flow acrylics, but I, I used uh, titanium white. So it has these sweeping marks on it. So instead of using just a plain black background, I have these pieces that have some gestural marks on them. So this will be my scaffolding or skeleton. This is the framework of the composition. I always start with some main characters and then overlay it with some supporting characters. Just like when you're telling a story. Because in, in many ways, when you create art, you're telling a story. except that it's without words.
Okay, I have that down. And by the way, this is Mod Podge matte. It's a water-based glue, sealer, and finish. This does three things. Now, uh, I've watered it down, I'd say 20%, so it's easier to spread, and it gets absorbed by the tissue paper. Just trying to uh, brush out the wrinkles as much as possible. Now the wrinkles can't be avoided sometimes because you're combining two different papers. But I do the best I can to make it as flat as possible. No, this is gift wrap tissue. This is not archival tissue. This is very transparent. I like it a lot because when it's mounted, it practically disappears. Oh, I just have to be a little careful when I pass my brush over the tissue because if I 
push too hard, the uh, tissue will tear. It's quite fragile. So I will let this air dry and then move on to the next step. Okay, here we are at the next segment of this video. This is where I apply a layer of paint. Now this is Raw Sienna by Blickrylic. Now, I, the reason I like Blickrylic is it's semi-transparent and it has a lot of extenders. So it does stay wet for a while. So I'm going to have some raw sienna. And then this is metallic copper, also by Blickrylic, and it has also quite a bit of extenders because it's really a student grade paint and I have no problem using student grade paint maybe I will use some unbleached titanium this is a uh, fluid acrylic so it's a little more watery than most so I will start with the light colors now the fluid acrylic tends to bead up that's the uh, nature of it. I'm not going to offload it now. Now I cut out these random shapes. These are uh, single-use stencils. Let me just clear out my table. Myself some room here.
So here is the first layer, which is the collage. I made sure that it's registered properly. So the second layer will fall exactly where I want it. Paying attention to the edges. I just want to make sure that the edges are nice and crisp. Okay, let's see what we have here. So I will air dry this and then decide maybe if it needs a third layer. Okay, back from the short break. Now I have these tissue paper with complementary colors. Let's see if this will work. I have this very bright orange.
Okay, now as a final flourish, I think I will use a teal squirt bottle. This stuff. Now I think this has a tiny little ball bearing inside this. It's kind of like shaking a spray can. If you have experience with uh, spray paint, there's usually a tiny ball bearing, a metal ball bearing inside to help stir up the paint. I think this has the same thing. So before, before using it, you have to shake it very well and clean out the nozzle. Okay. I think that does it. I'm not going to wait till this dries. I will let you see the close up. So you can see the combination of the collage and the gel print. And this is three layers. With the collage is actually sandwiched between layers of paint. Now when this glue dries, the shine will disappear. So uh, it will become more or more or less a matte finish. There you have it. Um, I hope you liked this short video. Uh, thank you for watching and subscribing. Please check out my website, artwhisper88.com, and the proceeds of the sales of the artwork go to support this channel. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.